Yo. So this morning when I was arrested, <laughs> all right, and the, the cop uh, in this uh, unrecorded interview, they, I, I tried to get them to record it, but for some reason they didn't want to, but I don't know what that's about. So she was saying to me, she goes, you know, you might not like the rules, right? But it's the same, you know, and, like if I was to have my dick out in public, it's like, it'd be an offence. And I go, well, I find that very hard to believe that you'd actually even have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to me, you actually look like a, like a woman. So I go, I, I go, what evidence can you produce of that? Wow. You know? so, that would have been that, interesting. Yeah, that was totally interesting. <laughs> Did and, she provide evidence? Or? No, no, but I think well, she smiled. So, um, oh, who knows? Uh, yeah, so maybe silence is agreement in that case, but well, I don't yeah, know. Don't know. <laughs> uh, that's all I've got to say about that. So, oh, no, they asked me about COVID, COVID-19. Yeah. And I said, I've got no first-hand knowledge of COVID. Oh, yeah. Has so, it been isolated yet? No, I don't know. Did you ask them about that? I don't know. I've got, I got, I got, no, I got no knowledge of it. <laughs> and they told me that the, um, there's a directive from the chief medical officer. And I asked them who the chief medical officer was. They didn't know that. And then oh. I go, can you provide me with an expressed, expressed uh, document? So that, someone they don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gave you a directive. Yeah, yeah. And you don't know who that is either. No, no oh. they don't know. So they couldn't provide any evidence of this uh, this uh, claim that they're making that I had to be wearing a mask. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. so, so did you end up getting a charge or? No, I got a commercial offer of a fine of six hundred dollars. Six hundred. Yeah. Not sixteen hundred. No, six hundred. All oh, right. And I go, well, thank you very much, but I'm going to have to refuse your commercial offer. And I wrote on it, uh, refused and uh, dismissed due to a lack of evidence. And then I returned that to the main desk, but they didn't really want to serve that, so I've just left that there with them. All oh, right. Uh, so no, no contract. So all was happy in the end. Yeah, and I was under duress all the time. And yeah. I was under. I, uh, there was no because consent. Um, yeah, there was no acquiescence. Acquiescence. Yeah, right. Uh, you know no silence. Yeah. Well, the there was some silence, but not enough silence. And then I had to get a tram all the way back here. Oh, yeah. And did they tell you, say anything about trying to stop you from coming here? Yeah, yeah. So they said that, uh, that I shouldn't come here today again. Why not? And I go, well, well, thanks, very lovely offer, but I'm going to have to refuse your offer. Uh, they were, they had their second witness there when they were telling me that too. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so the sick second witness has obviously heard the uh, notice of refusal to their commercial offers. Yeah, right. Uh, and I like, I tried to ask them like, could I get a, could, could I get their uh, ABN number and like uh, an official offer written down on the uh, like express expressly written to me. Um, for, for the consideration yeah. and they, they didn't want to provide any consideration. Oh, so they don't want to provide a written contract? If no, no, no. Oh. They, yeah. so, That's interesting. So they wanted me to sign a bailment for my property, Yeah. so, so for my phone, um, so basically to assign my property over to the Victorian Police Corporation. Yeah. I don't know what their ABN number is, but um, so I well, did you? You didn't manage to get that off them, obviously, today, because I didn't no, have no. much luck with that either. Yeah. So yeah. They, they didn't seem to know that, or they didn't want to give it to I think me. It's turned off, is it? No, no it's still oh, going. It's still going. Yeah. yeah. Just times out. Yeah. So, so that was a bit of an issue with the uh, with uh, forming any type of uh, legal agreement. So we had like we had a bit of a bit of an issue with the contract. Yeah. So, anyway. so all fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they twisted my thumb back in the process, and they basically told, like, made made threats to me that that, that, that I was in their property, and they I had to play by their rules, and you know, and I don't I don't believe anything they've got to say because they're actually all lies. Yeah. And uh, we all know. Do you have evidence to back up that claim? Yes, I do. Okay. And then uh, they're fraudulent as well, so did, I've got evidence of that as well. Yeah. So did they have every, any evidence that you actually committed a crime today? No, no, no. No, okay. no. So they couldn't. Did you ask them for that, or? Yeah, yep, yep. yep. So no, they, they were telling me that I committed an offence, and I go, "Well, I'm sorry, but an offence is defined under the common law, and it is also expressed in the Crimes Act, and it is not expressed anywhere in any other act." Yeah, so, right. 
so the only thing so there's eight definitions of an offense so I asked them to clarify which offense that they were um, referring to whether it's an offense that I've just offended them yeah uh, whether it's an offense that I uh, committed a crime under the common law um, so they couldn't really define the word offence either. That's interesting. And they didn't really like me talking a lot for yeah. some reason. But good thing is, at least they didn't try and put this. Well, you don't have the right to talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, well, so they didn't. Well, that's well did the, they try and tell you that too or not? Well, now that's another interesting point because they didn't even, they didn't even read the three rights that uh that they're even required to do they didn't even read the three rights oh interesting that, that, but you actually got like 600 rights but they didn't even read through it three of them to me but i think yeah. it was probably they knew it was a waste of time anyway so yeah so, oh good yeah. fun day today yeah so i told them that i had the right of refusal if all unsolicited commercial offers yeah. And that I don't consent. Police pl policing is based upon consent, and yeah. I have never, never consented either expressly or implied to their policy enforcing. So, did you happen to get their names? No, I, I probably actually it's probably on the video. Oh right, I so see. You've yeah. got some video of that on your yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was not on YouTube yet. It's so, on Facebook. Well, by the time I get mine up, it probably will be. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. So that'll yep. probably be tonight or tomorrow or something. I'll I'll try and put a link to that in the description. Good lad. Thanks, Herbert. Good lad.